Adam here, and today I want to shift a little bit. I want to pivot from talking about prayer in relationship to ourselves and God, and I want to shift to talking about prayer in our relationship to the gospel. Last couple days, we've been talking about how God bends down and he turns his ear toward us or how he wants to have an intimate relationship because he makes his home in our hearts. But but today, I want to talk about prayer in terms of 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 actually sharing fearlessly, using our words in a way that would advance and multiply the good news. What's the good news? The news of Jesus Christ. Now, Paul, in Ephesians chapter 6, there is this very important passage when it talks about the armor of God. You can read it in Ephesians 6. At the end of that, in verse 18 and 19, he says to the church, at Ephesus. He says, brothers and sisters, would you do this for me? Would you pray that that anytime I have the opportunity that I would fearlessly speak and share the mystery of the gospel? Listen, prayer is also a way that, that builds confidence and boldness inside of us so that we can share the good news of Jesus Christ. I love this quote that E.M. Baum says. He says it this way, No learning can make up for the failure to pray. No earnestness, no diligence, no study, no gifts will supply its lack. Meaning that we need prayer to be the foundation for our heart to see those who are hurting, those who those who are broken, those who are in need. When we're not connected to the Father and to the mission of loving people the way he loves people, our words, they lack the urgency and the grace and the truth and the wisdom of God. And most importantly, they lack Jesus. So let's pray that God would help us to be fearless as we love and declare his truth to the people around us. I'll see you tomorrow on The Daily Dose.